Hello and welcome back, I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our common Universalis. Let's try in Europe Universalis 4. Can we do anything with anybody? Can we give mm, burgers some land, maybe? Would that be good? That would raise their influence too high. Yeah, giving them land doesn't make sense. So, uh, the game projected that they would have it in uh, 72. They actually have it early, so it's present to Tyrone. I just turned on the, uh, the state modifier. Uh, sorry, Institution Spread Modifier for this state, so that we can get a little bit faster in these two provinces. Uh, these two are still quite slow until one of these other guys gets it. But uh, we also have it going on in Kildare now, which is great, so... Pretty quickly, I think we're going to get most of the, uh, the Renaissance that we need. Also, I took the time to go through all the provinces and find the one that has the highest sum of agricultural capacity and base urbanization capacity. So the highest, I don't know, what, what you would consider to be the total food, or total total size of the thing, like how big it should be, or something. And I'm going to do Reclaim Wasteland in this one, because I, I, I don't know, it made sense to me at the time. So yeah, now we're just waiting for, uh, I don't know, rebels to go away, and or institution to spread. Losing a little bit of cash while we stay at full maintenance. We could root out corruption a little bit less. Give a little bit of little bit of money. No, the regency's already over. What a short, short-lived period of time that we got to be ruled by that that ruler. Five three five. We have a four one two heir, and our current ruler is incorruptible. Yearly corruption. Okay. Well, he's not very good, but poor old Roshin. She she's gone from this world too early. Lost a little bit of legitimacy in the, uh, in the succession. I suppose that could be an argument for doing, um... For doing the indulgence for sins. Hmm... It's really not affecting that much, though. I was just looking forward to it being really high so that I could maybe do the, uh, the royal decree. Like that tax, but I don't want to do it while we already have low legitimacy. Low-ish legitimacy. Okay, so Tyrone has embraced it, which means... Or rather, it's, it's present, and I think he has embraced it as well. Which means we can probably stop worrying about Scotland's opinion. Embargo England, and embargo Scotland. All right, what's this then? Priests are preaching heresy. Dipple points for clergy loyalty. Yes, please. They are so loyal now. It's, it's tempting. It's tempting, but I'm not going to do it. All right, so we gave the guys some more land. They're getting happy. Uh, the clergy are super happy. The institution is spreading. Alright, corrupt admirals. I don't know, that's fine. And there goes our fantastic prosperity gain. Still pretty decent. The current ruler's not bad, and he's quite young, so hopefully we have him for quite a long time. Earl Tadakhuhuta. It's Gerald. 90% on the Slagonian rebels. Come on, nobles, stop being pissed. It's not my fault. Uh, we're like 20... No! They fired like 20 months away. 20 months! That's it! And then they would have been fine. But we have terrain advantage. Um, wait a minute. Shouldn't we have more than just that? Shouldn't we have... Okay, so they have a negative terrain for being in the woods. And we have terrain positive because of the capital. Nice. We rolled a zero and then a two. Cool. There's the nine in the shock phase. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Finally, we can go down to low maintenance. It was all my army tradition again, but... I tell you what, we'll, we'll hang out about like 60% or so. But let's reinforce slowly. I don't want to pay full price. It's 
top off relations with our subject that we think we can integrate soon. I actually didn't mean to click that. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. I'm just looking for something. I feel like there should be something I should be able to do at the moment, and there isn't. Uh, okay. Could give the province of Kildare to the clergy. That would make this rebel rebellion go away. Ooh, a competent general. Not very competent, though. Three pips. What are you talking about competent? We do have enough we could do forgive usury. I mean, money is the thing that drives all development for me right now. Prestige is good for combat. I'm going to go with money. I'm going to be greedy. Greed is good. All right, I swear it's been it's definitely been long enough that that reorganized government thing should be done by now. My guess at this point is that since it said it can take 5 to 15 years depending on your level of corruption that if you have 10 corruption it takes 15 years. It feels like it's been a long time. We're still doing it, right? It's it didn't just like go away, disappear on me. And yeah, it's still there. guy. Lower maintenance a little bit further. Burgundy wants Condottieri. He's currently fighting against Liege. And Austria as well. And Austria, Hungary, Portugal. Papal State. That's cool. Institution spread so slow. Alright, speed five. Just give me the institution. I think I think that's the thing that I want right now. Yay, it's finally there. Government reorganized. Okay, so we lose 10 corruption, we get reorganized government. We'll go away, which is currently raising stability costs. And also lowering uh, government capacity. More importantly, the 10 corruption goes away, which means we lose a lot of other penalties. Papal controller is the papal state. I guess that's fine. Good that France isn't the papal controller. We can immediately reorganize government again. <laughs> For another one stab. Well, if it was a good idea the first time, presumably, it's a good idea the second time, right? Trade admin points for money. I mean, I could corrupt government five times again. Last time I did it, I got two um, two marketplaces out of the deal, which seemed like a great, great thing at the time. Eh, let's not do it for too long. I, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to take it easy. Probably top off the spy network with Scotland now that we don't care about his opinion. I am going to attack him someday. Someday. We'll go back to spying on England as well. Because my corruption went down, now my corruption is growing. It was all my income. August of 76. Okay, back to speed 5. I mean, just waiting on this institution. I'll probably wait for it in all five of these. Save some of the cash for the embracement cost. 
Uh, uh, I'll take the prestige hit. I want the military points so that I can do more reclaim wasteland and stuff. Adjacent friendly port province in state. Is there also a benefit for a direct adjacency? Looks like no. It's just one or the other. Now we have the ability to improve our prestige. That could happen in the next war, but there's not really a guarantee of it, so I'm gonna avoid that for the moment. Governance efficiency 125. Yay! More governance efficiency. Great. The clergy are losing power. Hmm. I wanted their power to be high. Denmark has declared war on Novgorod. Alright, fine. They can just be at less than 60 for a while. Oh, look at that. There's actually an institution spread advisor. They've taken the philosopher, which... Uh, what does the philosopher do? I don't remember what the philosopher is normally. I, I don't think it's institution spread. I'm pretty sure. New government policy. What? No way. It has been 20 years. Okay, this one's got to be related to the fact that I am a new ruler. Right? Because it hasn't been 20 years. Cool, well we get to do it again. I guess that's good. We want to keep the inflation reduction. Um, unrest was an issue, but it's not anymore. So let's keep the high taxes. Let's uh, not worry about the trade policy. And... Uh, I think I'm going to re reduce my governance capacity by just by 10%. We should still have some room for more governance capacity. How many times am I going to say that, I wonder? The words governance capacity. I feel like it hadn't updated yet. Yeah, we're, we're still totally fine. We're at uh, 20 out of 32. That's a lot. There's a lot of room. I guess I could have gone all the way back down to the low one. Taking advantage of the corruption reduction for a few more years. I've got already lost a war. Make a little bit of cash again. Come on, institution spread. Yes, yes! Here it comes. Ready? Two months. I'm gonna get it there. Okay, the direct adjacency is better. That one just went up a little bit. If we wanted to, could we embrace with just that one province? 126 ducats, and yes, we could. We'll wait for some more. Cork is going to cost me 40 ducats. France has declared war upon Aragon. Interesting. Sounds like a war against Scotland is uh, a little bit more likely to happen then. Opportunity knocks. About darn time, huh? Have they been taking tech? Hmm. England's on tech six. Scotland's not. All right. There's no real reason to keep the institution spread edict on in this province when actually Limerick Limerick is currently getting no spread rate because it's not adjacent yeah now I'm gonna turn it off in this state keep it on for the capital state Alright, a beloved heir dies! Yay! That's great news! Not normally excited about that, but he's not very good, so... Okay, I was looking to see... down to 110. 
in a church. A church in Leinster. A church? Churches are still a thing? Yes. It's the literacy growth modifier one. I like it. House of O'Brien. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Lost our air. We got a 3-2-3. Three, three. And a slightly better uh, woman as well. Local literacy growth. Local education efficiency. Okay, and now I'm lost. What is education efficiency? Whoa, there's all kinds of buttons here. I'm excited about this. New buttons. Fund church school. Base literacy growth goes up by an extra 0 0.005. Reduce literary growth penalty from agriculture by 10%. Okay, and the church already does that. This would double the benefit for the literacy loss from agricultural thing. How on earth does a church reduce education efficiency? Fund church school countrywide. All provinces with temple get. Hmm. I mean, it does do a very, a very sizable increase in the uh, spread rate. Is that the only province that has a church in it? It is. Well, let's uh, let's get some literate people. Some some kids need to speak words good. Point oh two four percent. Yeah. Well, having high manpower is useful for that reclaiming of wasteland. I think I would definitely be overwhelmed if I were playing a larger country. But it's, it's, it's good to have started in, in Ireland and have some room to learn what I'm doing here. A lot of modifiers and stuff to look at. Alright, so low maintenance I'm aware of. Nobles are happy again. Have been for a little while. Okay. Let's just leave them alone. <laughs> Let's just not worry about the manpower recovery speed and, and stuff. The general feeling I get is just don't mess with the estates as much. Because you can't control them well. Okay, I'm missing the opportunity here. There we're at. Okay, France is in a war that he might not want to defend Scotland. I need to take advantage of this if I can. Got five war exhaustion so far. We'll keep going on speed five until that that changes. If France suddenly doesn't want to help him, then we'll jump on it. Occupying the besieged provinces at negative four. It's just just gotta wait for a couple like forts to get occupied or something, and then he'll probably not want to do it. Unless he wins. Which would be amazing. Nine war exhaustion already. Okay, let's process some of these pop-ups. Jeez, okay, so lots of peace deals. Yep, okay. Attacker against Irkhan. He he actually thought he could just win. Defender controls Ruslan. Are you sieging it? Savoy is currently sieging it. But that is a coastal um board. And he definitely doesn't have naval superiority, so... I don't know. Alright, check on institutions again. Now Muscovy is going to war with Novgorod. About darn time. Sweden has declared an independence war. At war with England. Denmark is at war with England. England's army might leave. He's got some allies. 
But if his entire army leaves, we could sneak a couple provinces from him again. I think more likely I'll be attacking Scotland, though. 271 manpower. Wow. That much? I don't know if I I don't know if I can accept that much. This is the ticket right here, it's just these two. And we'll take the institution. Lost a claim. I've been speed fiving through quite a bit of time, apparently. He didn't live very long. Not reclaiming wasteland in every province. Apparently, it, it costs 40 to do it, but I think you have to have more than 40 to have it as an option. I wonder if there's like some really big. Oh, darn, France just white pieced. What? After all that, he's just gonna white piece. Okay. I was kinda hoping you'd do more than that. Yeah, see, I had to be. It costs 40, but you have to be at 50. So maybe there's some really good ones that are available that I'm just never seeing because I don't have enough money. Could be the case. Now at this point I'm, I'm definitely committed to to waiting for the institution so that I can take military tech and maybe even knock out some ideas. <clears throat> Castile has declared an independence war on Aragon. Alright, well the French war did do something. It shake up the Iberian Peninsula quite a bit. Oh no, gotta piss somebody off. Okay, well, the clergy give me people influence. These guys give me trade, which, eh, trade's not that great. It is higher now than it used to be, but... Nah, I think we're gonna side with the clergy. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Alright, we can safely... We can safely turn this edict off soon. I'm not gonna wait for every province, but... Ah, shoot, fine. We'll wait for the capital, too. Saves me 40 ducats. Maybe I should wait for every province. I mean, that would save a lot of money. In theory. Nah, can't wait that long. It's too long. Come on. Come on, speed five. Go, go. Do it. Clergy condemns a philosopher as a heretic. We lose stab either way. Great. I guess we take the tech cost? About to take tech? I support the Philosopher, he's awesome. Also, I want stability, please. So we can get prosperity, because someday, one day, we're actually going to have prosperity prosperity in our provinces. It's going to be really nice. <laughs> this is weird. When the institutions open on the state page, you can't, like, see any of the numbers. You've got to... See this? I can't hover over it. There's no thing. You've got to switch to the other side, and then you can see it. I don't get it. Hey, one month ago. We did it! Got it, present. We can embrace the institution for 17 whole ducats. I'm not willing to wait that many months for 17 ducats, so let's do it. Also, we should have started the integration of Tyrone a little while ago. Oops. I'm looking for. I'm looking for institution embrace. And we are over the admin point cap. Okay. Well, we should definitely take admin then. 
Okay, production efficiency. Having access to the workshop. Goods produced and production efficiency both sound awesome. Definitely taking military tech. I'll almost take another military tech as well. Okay, now I've got to decide. Do I want to fall behind intentionally on Diplotech in order to do a Diplomatic Idea Group, or do I just take the tech while we have the tech cost reduction? Tell you what, I'm going to think about it between episodes, try to decide which idea group I want to go for, and then we will come back after that. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.